detected. Isaac's picking up a signal in the underground. It could be Kajika. Hey, what's up, agents? How y'all doing? Hope everybody's hanging in there, being as safe as you guys need to be. So recently, I was running some of those time trials, and you guys uh, may have saw something you don't see very often from me, a weapon DPS build. You know, I tend to be a skill build guy, and I also like messing with armor, but I do have my DPS character, and there's just a ton of videos how people do it. They do it well, and these guys, frankly, are just better players than me. You know, my potato aim, I can't hit shit. But somebody asked about the build, and now with the new Ninja bike, I have a build that's really my free play sort of build. It's my AR build, but it can actually just instantaneously, uh, all you have to do is swap out the Fenris. And, well, let me go over the build. This is the build that I've been using to get a good solid amount of damage out, and it will work in legendary content. It's just very squishy. So, hey, by the way, if you find this entertaining, you like watching me do something other than skill builds, a like would be greatly appreciated. Hopefully by the end of this, I will earn you guys subscription. Best thing you can do to help my channel is share this video. And I, I may regret it in this one, but uh, yeah, if you guys would do anything different, and I'm sure everybody would do a ton of stuff different, leave that comment down below. And if you'd like to see anything else coming up in the future, let me know what it is. All right, guys, let's get into the build. All right, guys, so this is going to be one of my quicker videos since it's a little bit out of my wheelhouse. But So the specialization, we're going to be using the gunner. This has a myriad of benefits, but the main ones that we are looking for is the armor on kill as well as the armor, sorry, the ammo regeneration. And this ammo regen is good for your team as well, so it's always great if you have somebody in your team running gunner. You also get the riot grenade, the uh, riot foam. This can be great to help immobilize enemies. Now, first, we'll talk about the weapons. Uh, my particular build's an AR, and you, this build, all you have to do is swap out one gear piece for whatever weapon you want to use. Uh, you guys have to pick whatever talent's best. If you're using LMG, you're probably not going to be looking for ranger or killer as much as you would be looking for unhinged or frenzy, or maybe even steady hands, I think with the good times, with the perfect steady hands, something like that. Uh, but you know, on an AR, uh, you know, you're probably gonna be looking at like Ranger, or Killer, or depending on your build, you may be looking for in sync. If you're using an SMG, you're probably gonna be looking for Strain, maybe Optimus. There's a ton of different perks, so really, as far as the weapon talent, use what you like best. In my particular case, I'm gonna be using Ranger, on a P416 for long distance, and I'm going to be using Killer as my primary weapon up close. Now the main thing to keep in mind about the weapons is you can only get 5% crit hit damage on three of the different mod slots. So I go with three crit hit chance mods on my weapon, talent of your choice. All right, so the reason this build is possible is because of the ninja bike and the resourceful talent, which will give us one extra brand set bonus for every piece we're wearing because we can get a more bang for our buck simply by going with five different brand sets for 10 total brand set bonuses. In order to maximize our damage, we are going to want to go with one piece of Providence. Since we are using the ninja bike, we're not gonna be using the named gift backpack because we need to use the ninja bike. But we can use the province, the sacrificed name chest piece with perfect glass cannon. This will multiply all damage by 30%, but you take 60% damage from all sources. So you may choose to go with something a little less squishy, obliterate, um, there's, there's numerous perks, but for the maximum damage, I elect to go with perfect glass cannon you may even decide to go with the regular glass cannon to do a little bit less damage, but also take significantly less damage. So Province will yield us 15% headshot damage and the Ninja Bike will also net us that 10% crit hit chance. So between our weapon mods and the Province, we now have 25% native crit hit chance. Next, I will be looking at the CV brand set. That will natively give us 10% crit hit chance. So now we're up to 35% crit hit chance. 
and the ninja bike will add in the 10% hazard protection for free. Next we got our GS Rubo Sombra. This will natively give us 15% crit hit damage. And the ninja bike will open up that 15% explosive damage as well. We want to go with Walker and Harris for the fourth brand set. That will net us 5% weapon damage. And the ninja bike will add the 5% damage to armor. Ultimately, that leaves us with going with a weapon specific piece. In my case, I'm using the Fenris. This will net me 10% assault rifle damage, 20% reload speed. You could, of course, go with Sokolov. This would give you the SMG damage. You could go with the uh, Petrov for the SMG, you, or sorry, for the LMG. You could go with Overlords if you want to use a rifle. We got two different brand sets now that will give us marksman rifle damage so you can play around with that uh, ultimately what we're aiming for is providence the cv the gs and the walker harris and then whichever weapon damage brands that you want in our case fenris now the gear mods unless you're using sokolov which you're basically going to be using an smg and you're basically going to be maxing out your crit hit chance already uh we're going to take three gear mods with crit hit chance that means in our attributes we want crit hit damage and headshot damage everywhere except for one slot if you want to go from 53 percent crit hit chance all the way to 59 percent, so you'll be one off you can go ahead and slot that in. What may be even better, if you plan on running in groups, a lot of times people will be using Coyote's Mask, so you're already gonna be getting some crit hit chance, crit hit damage from an outside source. So you may wanna just leave it at that 53% crit hit chance and dump everything into headshot damage. You're probably gonna, what you'll probably end up doing, ultimately I think you're gonna want in the attributes, you'll be looking for something like six crit hit damage minor attributes, one crit hit chance minor attribute, and five headshot damage in your minor attributes. And with everything except for the SMGs, this should net you 59% crit hit chance, 87% additional crit hit damage, and 65% additional headshot damage. The sacrifice will be multiplying all the damage by 30%, an additional 30%, so 1.3 multiplier. And the Ninja Bike, in the I'm going to go with the Assault Rifle format, the Fenris. The bonuses we're going to be getting just from using Ninja Bike is 20% reload speed, 10% crit hit chance, 5% damage to armor, 10% hazard protection, and 15% explosive damage. So again, I'm using a P416 with Killer for the extra 40% crit hit damage when I get a crit kill. And that lasts me for 10 seconds. That's for everybody up close. And if I need to engage com combatants at range, we will pull out our Ranger. We got the C79 scope so I can scope in on them. And that will get us that multiplicative damage that way. For our skills, we're using the Striker Drone. Other than grabbing aggro, the Striker Drone doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but every once in a while it'll get a kill. And of course, we're going to be using the Crusader Shield as that will allow us to use the majority of weapons other than the LMGs and the Marksman Rifles. So we'll use that to tank damage while we put out the damage. The downside is because we are using Perfect Glass Cannon, the shield also takes 60% additional damage. But hey, that's the way it goes. Real quick, I want to talk about two things you could do. You could swap out the Walker Harris for Bellstone. That way you could net yourself, instead of the 5% weapon damage, the 5% damage to armor, you would net yourself 1% armor regen per second and 10% armor on kill. If you're having survivability issues due to the perfect glass cannon, that may be something that you choose to go with. You may even go with the standard glass cannon on a Bellstone chest piece to help mitigate that. Also, the Brazos de Arquebus you could use to gain 10% uh, skill haste and skill tier. This could be a way of lowering your weapon damage but buffing up your skill damage just a little bit. All right, this video actually went a little bit longer than I thought it would. All right, agents, thank you so much for making it this far. Now we're just gonna let the rest of the time trial play out and you guys can see how it works. This build, I mean, the build works nicely. I like the build and it, uh, it puts out a lot of damage. 
it's just really squishy. So I tend to only use this bill when I'm in a group so that I can have other people to grab aggro while I put the enemies down. Otherwise, I, I get tapped out pretty darn quick. But let me know what works for you guys. Do you guys use this type of build? What do you guys do different? How do you guys survive with the type of squishiness we're facing when you're in legendary content? And can you use this sort of build solo in legendary or are you stuck in a group? Anyway, thank you so much for checking this out. Hey, just do me a favor on the way out, smash that like button. A subscription would be greatly appreciated. Best thing you can do to help my channel is to share this video. Leave any comments you feel like down below. Uh, you know, just try not to hurt my feelings too badly. You agents be as safe as you need to be, and I will check you all in the dark zone. Peace out, everybody. People. If they breached Haven, there would have been nothing left to save. Now get back to Kajika. Isaac's detecting movement in the tunnels up ahead. Agent in need of backup. Taking out that drill was a start. I don't know about you, but I don't want to be looking over my shoulder every time I take a leak. If Kajika gets away, he's gonna come for us. No pressure, Agent. These tunnels just keep on going. Guess the cleaners have more control over this city than we thought. Had, Kelso. With that drill out of action, we made a serious dent in their operation. I hope you're right. The only thing we need to worry about right now is finding Kajika.
the wrong side, Agent. Steve detected. Visuals compromised. He's trying to trap you. Get away from that steam and finish him off. Targets. He really knew how to cover his tracks. One left. I guess this is why he was using the cleanest to take down Haven. And end his vendetta. You made a big difference here today, Agent. Well done. Thank you.